Yes, good morning all. Myself Amit Kumar from Department of Pharmacy Practice, Ajitya College of Pharmacy. So, I am dealing with uh, pharmacoepidemiology and that uh, today's topic is uh, measurement of outcomes. So, when you talk about this pharmacoepidemiology, so it is a science of you know, study of a drug in a given population. Suppose the population is having some disease and for disease they are given the drugs to for the population for the treatment. Okay. So, this exposure of a drugs in a population can have different outcomes. Okay. So, the outcomes can be a beneficial outcome or the outcome can, outcome can have a risk of causing the ADS. Okay. So, the study or relation between this exposure of a drugs and its outcome in a population is basically called as pharmacoepidemiology. Okay. So, we, may, we are going to now see how to measure the outcomes in different, different ways. So, as you can see in this slide, so there are two different ways by which we can do the measurement of outcomes. First is called as outcome measures and the second one is called as drug use measures. Now, coming first to outcome measures. Okay. When we talk about outcome measures, so there are two basic things or two critical terms. One is called as morbidity, another one is called as mortality. Okay. And these are the two basic means ways by which we do the outcome measures. What is morbidity? So, any disease condition in a person is called as morbidity. Okay. Whereas, what is mortality? Mortality means the death, occurrence of a death or death basically means mortality and disease condition means morbidity. Okay. So, we can measure outcome or we can do outcome measures by doing this measurement of mortality and measurement of morbidity. Clear? Whereas, the second one is drug use measures. So, that we can do by different ways. First is the monetary units. Second one is number of prescription. Third one is units of drug dispensed. Fourth one is defined doses. Fifth one is prescribed doses. And the last one is medication adherence measurement. So, today I will discuss with you all regarding the measurement of mortality. Clear? So, this measurement of mortality can be done in these different ways. First is crude death rate. Second is specific death rate. Third one is proportional mortality rate. Fourth is case fatality rate. And the fifth one is survival rate. Now, we will go into each one individually. Yeah, so coming first to this crude death rate. What is the meaning of this crude death rate? So, it is basically number of deaths occurring in a population of a geographical area in a given year. Okay, what I told? It is number of death occurring in a population of a geographical area in a given year gives us the crude death rate. For example, for example, if population of Rajamandri in the year 2019 is 540, and the number of deaths occurring in Rajmandri in the same year is 60. So, our CDR or crude death rate is equal to 60 by 540. What is 60? 60 is the total number of deaths occurring in a population of Rajmandri for the year 2019. Okay. And what the population we are taking? that population has to be mid-year population per thousand mid-year population gives us the this actual population okay of a given geographical area for that given year okay so basically the formula of cdr is now cdr is equal to number of deaths during one year divided by mid-year population okay so example i gave you was the mid-year population of rajmandri for the year 2019 was 540 and the number of deaths occurring in that particular year is 
60 hence our crude death rate that is cdr is equal to 60 by 60 by 540 which gives us the figure of 0 0.111 so this figure is called as the crude death rate now coming to the next one next is specific death rate this specific death rate can be of four types it can be cause specific it can be age specific it can be gender specific or it can be time specific okay cause specific means death occurring because of some cause some disease for example death due to cholera okay a specific means at certain age like death for infants or death for elderly patients that is that these all come under age specific third is gender specific means death for males or death for females in a given proportion in a given year and the fourth one is time specific means weekly death occurring or bi-weekly death or monthly death or death in three months six months or in one year so, so all this comes under time specific okay so i will uh, explain this based upon this cause specific means death due to some disease or in this case we are discussing about death due to cholera in the same population example which i gave for the first one so same example like population of rajamandri in 2019 was 540 okay number of deaths in the same year was 60 okay now in the same population there was outbreak of cholera okay so in that given year in that population we found that 30 people had cholera 30 people suffered of cholera okay and out of those 30 15 people died means 30 cholera patients were there out of those 30 15 people died due to cholera now this is the case is case is there in front of us now we need to find out the specific death rate because of some cause and cause here is cholera how to find out so the cholera specific death rate is equal to number of deaths due to particular condition in a year divided by total population in a year so we have number of deaths due to condition of cholera is how much that is 15 which is here 15 uh, divided by total population of of a, in a given year that was 540 so our figure is now 15 divided by 540 which gives us the figure of 0 0.027 hence 0 0.027 is the cause specific death rate here the cause is cholera so specific death rate because of cholera here is 0 0.027 for this particular case okay now the next one Now next one is proportional mortality rate clear now what is the meaning of this proportional mortality rate okay same case what i told you in the previous slide now we will find here the proportional mortality rate is equal to number of deaths due to particular condition in a year which was 15 because of deaths happening because of cholera that was 15 divided by total number of deaths okay which was 60 i will just take you back to the previous slide so we can see here number of deaths because of a condition which was 15 and we had 60 was the total number of deaths in the population okay now we need to we need to find out the proportion mortality rate which is now number of deaths due to particular condition in a year divided by total number of deaths which is equal to now 15 by 60 which gives us a figure of 0 0.25 hence 0 0.25 is the 
proportional mortality rate. Clear? Now the next one, case fatality rate. Okay, case fatality rate in a simple term on a simple language it means that it is the proportion of people who die from a specified disease among all individuals diagnosed with the disease over a certain period of time. So, in the same case as I told you, 540 was the operation of the entire population of that particular rajamandri in the year 2019, 60 people died. Okay. Now, in that population, we have 30 cases of cholera and 50 people died because of cholera. Okay. So, here what we are finding out? It is the proportion of people who die from a specified disease among all the individuals diagnosed with a disease which was 15 in this case okay over a certain period of time hence our cfr which is called as case fatality rate is equal to number of deaths due to cholera which is 15 divided by total number of cases of cholera which is 30 hence the figure is 15 by 30 which gives us 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is the case fatality rate for this particular case study. Okay. Now coming to the last one which is called as survival rate. In this condition we are just finding out number of people survived from a disease state. Okay at the end of 5 year period ok suppose at the in the first year suppose we had suppose 50 cases of cholera ok now after 5 years out of those 50 how many people survived that will give us the survival rate ok hence we can say that the survival rate is often settled as a 5 year survival rate which is the percentage of people in a study or treatment group who are alive 5 years after their diagnosis or the start of treatment. Hence, survival rate is equal to patients alive at the end of 5 years divided by total number of patients. Okay, example what I told you, suppose in the first year we had 50 cases of cholera patients after 5 years we found that 10 people only survived and remaining 40 has died because of cholera ok so what is the survival rate it will become as 10 people who have survived divided by total number of cholera patient which is 50 hence 10 by 50 will give us the survival rate ok hence these all different methods like which I have told you, I will once again do a recap. Crude death rate, specific death rate, proportional mortality rate, case fatality rate and the survival rate are the five different means by which we can do the measurement of mortality. Okay? So this is all for this class. The next class I will discuss with the how to measure the morbidity, morbidity or the measurement of the morbidity. Thank you.